Most people think that once they clear their browser history, their computer forgets what they did. That's not even close to the truth. On Windows 11, there is a hidden file quietly building a private diary of your life on this PC. It doesn't ask, it doesn't warn you, and almost nobody knows it exists. Apps you open, documents you read, sometimes even the paths and titles linked to what you were doing. A lot of that can end up logged in one place you never see. In this video, you're going to see where that secret activity log lives, how to crack it open and read it yourself, and how to wipe it and cut down what Windows records in the future. This is not a virus and it's not a hacker backdoor. It's an official Windows activity history feature designed to track what you do and in some cases sync that history across devices. The problem is how deep that tracking can go and how completely invisible it is in normal day-to-day -day use. So let's go straight to the file and expose it. First, we're going to open the folder where Windows stores this activity database. On your keyboard, press the Windows key and the R key together. That opens the run box in the bottom corner. In the run box, type this exactly. Percent local app data, percent backslash connected devices platform. So that is percent local app data, percent backslash connected devices platform, and then press enter. This takes you into a hidden area under your user profile that Windows uses for something called the connected devices platform and for activity history. Inside this folder, you should see one or more subfolders. On most systems, there will be a folder that starts with the letter L and your username or a long ID. Open the folder that belongs to your current Windows user. Inside that folder, look for a file called activitiescache.db. This is the key file. Activitiescache.db is a S client database file where Windows stores a timeline of your activity for this account. Next to it, you might also see activitiescache.db-shm and activitiescache.db-wal. Those are side files that the database engine uses for caching and logging. Right now, you can't just double click this file and read it in notepad. We need a small tool to look inside. To open this database, we'll use a free program called DB Browser for SQLite. It's an open source visual tool that lets you browse and search SQLite databases without writing any code. Open your web browser and search for DB Browser for SQLite official. Click the official sqlitebrowser.org website. On the downloads page, choose the windows installer that matches your system, download it and run the installer. You can just accept the default options by clicking next until it finishes. Once it's installed, we're ready to actually open the activity logs. Go back to File Explorer where you can see activities cache.db. Right click on activities cache.db. Choose Open With and then select DB Browser for SQLite. If you don't see it in the list, click Choose Another App and browse to the program manually. When DB Browser opens, you'll see a few tabs at the top. Click on the tab that says Browse Data. There's a drop down for choosing a table. Select the main table. On many systems, it will be called Activity or Activities or something similar. Now you should see rows of data appear in a grid. I prefer not to show my activities. Therefore, I blur it here. Each row represents some kind of activity on your PC. One column will contain timestamps, which are the dates and times when things happen. Another column will contain app identifiers or names for the programs you used, like your browser or office apps. Other columns may contain file paths 
and file names for documents you opened. In some cases, you may also see website URLs or links related to that activity. If you scroll through this table, you are essentially looking at a raw, machine-readable diary of how this Windows account has been used. Even if you have cleared your browser history, this separate Windows database can still show when certain apps or documents were opened and when specific activities took place. If you're not comfortable leaving this log on your machine, you can delete it. Close DB browser for SQLite so the file isn't in use. Go back to File Explorer in the same folder. Select Activities Cache.db. If you see Activities Cache.db dash, SHM, and Activities Cache.db dash WL, select those as well. Right click and choose Delete or press the Delete key. For some of you, it may get deleted easily, but for some, may see this file in use message. To fix this, we need to close the file that is still running somewhere inside. In search, search for CMD. Right click, run as administrator. Stop the connected devices platform user service. This is the service that keeps activities cache open. Type netstop cdp user sv you need to type the exact service that is open now you can go to the folder and delete the activity cache file easily delete the other two files also to remove the files completely windows will recreate a fresh version of this database over time as it needs it but the history you just saw will be wiped Next, let's clean up some of the history Windows uses for search and suggestions. Click the start button and open settings. In the left sidebar, click on privacy and security. Under Windows permissions, choose search. Here you'll see an option called search history on this device. If you don't want Windows Search to keep a history of what you've searched for, turn this off. Then click Clear Device, Search History to wipe what's already saved. On some older Windows 11 builds, there used to be a separate Activity History page here, with a checkbox for Store My Activity History on this device. On the latest Windows 11 versions, including 25H2, Microsoft has removed or hidden that page for many users, so you may not see it at all. That's why in this video, the focus is on the hidden activities cache.db file we just viewed, plus the search history and recent item settings. You can still control in the normal interface. If you want to go a bit further in hiding your recent activity from the interface, you can also adjust one more area. In settings, go to personalization. Then click start. Here, you can turn off options like show recently added apps and show recently opened items in start, jump lists, and file explorer. This doesn't remove all logging under the hood, but it does stop windows from constantly surfacing your recent apps and files everywhere in the start menu and taskbar. Before wrapping up, it's important to set expectations. This activity database and these settings are part of windows itself. They're not malware and they're also used for legitimate features like continue where you left off and multi-device experiences. Clearing and disabling them can slightly change how recent files and some timeline style features behave, especially if you use multiple devices with the same account. And even after doing all this, Windows will still keep some types of logs elsewhere, for example in event logs used for troubleshooting or in basic diagnostic telemetry. Think of what you've done here as removing a very detailed, easy to read diary of your activity, not erasing every trace that anything ever happened. Now you know where Windows 11 hides one of its most detailed activity logs, how to open it with a free tool, and how to wipe it and reduce what gets stored. If you try this on your own PC, pause for a moment and actually look at what's inside that database. Let me know in the comments what was the most surprising thing you found in your own activity log. If you want to go even further into disabling telemetry, ads, and other tracking features across Windows 11, Keep an eye out for a full Windows privacy hardening video that will be released soon. Thanks for watching. And if this helped you understand what your system is really recording, consider subscribing for more practical privacy and security guides. Mm -hmm.